So my wife and I decided to spend our 25th anniversary in Texas just visiting with friends. Let's get out of town, see some cool country, and just visit some. She said, let's roll. Our first stop was in Alpine, Texas. We had planned to stay with the Ryan family, our good friends. Jim Breck over at High West Outfitters had called and said, hey, come on over to the house. The whole team's coming, the Ryans, everybody. We're making tacos, playing a little cornhole, and we can't wait for you to get here. Thank you. Sup, weenies. What's your favorite thing about here? The people. The people. I love the people. Right in the hole. You wasn't recording. No, the outside hole. I kind of like it. All right, first one to sink it. Close. You boys, you boys realize we're trying to put it right here in the hole, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Living legend. What is what is HWO style now? Hollis <laughs> Outfitters. Wait, can you can you punch a hole in that rope and throw it around this cow's head? Yeah. Wait, is that a cow or a bull? Whoa, first try. Nice. That's why we like the I'm gonna try the Ryan shot. What he did? Yeah. Every time I find a really good What you need a top All the boys helped capture a little bit of film for us. We got a good night's sleep and then woke up the next morning. We decided we were gonna do a little ranch tour. Right out of the gate, there was some sheds laying next to the feeder. Oh my goodness. We took Steven's dog Gilbert for a little swim and when we did, there was a couple of javelina that come out of this pond. We hot footed it back to the truck. Fulton was on deck and we were gonna get a little meat for tonight's dinner. Do one and one and done, Fulton. That was awesome. Look at all these ants. Open his mouth. Grab by the top of the nose and the bottom jaw. There you go. All right, look right here. Fulton, tell me what happened, bud. I saw the javelinas coming right up there when we were letting Gilbert swim, and then Dad brought out with the gun. I saw a bunch of them. I pulled the trigger, and then I noticed it was on safety. <laughs> yeah, it on shoot, and then I just blasted him. Dude, great shot, 150 yards. Got your brothers and your dad, and your dog. Good shooting. It's Thank awesome. You. We gonna eat them tonight? Yes, sir. Heck yeah. All right, I'm getting in there with y'all. What are you planning to make for dinner for this? We're just gonna do we're whatever just, we, we wanna, kill. You, I want you to get the flavor of a Halina. Here, go back. Don't stick a booger. Here we are in West Texas hanging out. What's your name? Jet Ryan. Jet Ryan. I'm Fulton Ryan. And you are? Cannon Ryan. We're just out hanging out today. Okay. Fulton's already thumped a javelina. Yep. We're hunting arrowheads. We found some sheds. And now we're looking to get Jet on an odd head U. And now we're going to, and when we're done, we're going to have some javelina for dinner. Yep. And then we're going to shoot me a rabbit. Yep. Maybe. Let's go. Y'all, I feel so fortunate to be able to travel around filming hunts, seeing amazing places that no travel guide will ever tell you about. That being said, my good fortune leaves my wife at home tending to everyday life. So in lieu of seeing the local attraction, we chose a day on the ranch acquiring some free range dinner via three youth hunters. Now with the javelina all handled, thank you Fulton, Jed is going to try and get us an Audad U. Now just to clarify, the Audad is a Barbary sheep that was introduced years ago and has a serious foothold in West Texas. The landowners encourage you to take as many as possible and it creates great opportunity and experience for a young hunter. We had a few failed attempts as they are really, really skittish. On our way out of the ranch, Stephen looks up into this canyon and there's a couple of hundred Audad all mixed in this canyon. We start up the backside of the ridge and we can hear them go up and over the backside. We just kept keeping on and about that time, Stephen could hear the clickety clack of hooves. So we laid down, those Audad came back over to investigate what was going on and Jet puts the hammer down on the first U 
on the far right. Ah, if you have ever been there, you know that proud dad feeling. Not knowing where the shop came from, the U's came back over the top, jet rechambers, and smoked one more. Yeah, you got it. Smoke. Like that. <laughs> jet, tell me how it went down. So, we were over there looking for them and then they popped up on the top of the hill. So, I shot one and that one went over there. And then I shot this one right in the shoulder, but kept running. It was straight on a rock They came back and it kept running and then, yeah. And it has a missing eye, so. That's super cool. <laughs> Most people don't know how invasive this animal is and to help call the females. I think if landowners could push the button and say, get rid of them, they'd push the button all day long. So you're helping them out and that was good shooting, bud. Let's go find the other one. We got the meat and we got both noggins for Jet and we're heading off the mountain back to the house to make a little dinner. Shoot, and then a little bit later we heard again. I was like, whoa. Well, because at first I didn't hear, I was like, I even hear a second shot. So I guess he dropped it or he missed. Look at this stack, you guys. The second one and I was like, oh. look. All dead noggins. Look, Freaking javelina, shed horns, dead heads, no broke bucks. And then what we is have this? centipedes. Seven. I got three. The yellow one is named Bob. Kill, clean, and cook, y'all. Here we go. Havelina, beef, and odd ed you. He killed the havelina, so he's going to season it. Okay. There's no wrong answer. Yeah, steakhouse seasoning. Good. Good. Perfect. Okay, you're going to do a separate seasoning on this one, or are you going to do the same? You can do your garlic powder on there. Wait, he, those are both our javelina? So these are both javelina, these are both yours. You wanna do two different what? flavors so we can kind of test which is better? Um, sure, yeah. Okay, so what's happening on this one? We are using garlic pepper with parsley. Now all three boys, both Fulton, Jet, and Cannon, were super interested in the camera and the filmmaking side. And for me, that was just wonderful. So Jet's doing the filming. Fulton right now is our editor, and then Cannon was running around with the iPhone getting us some photos. We've got them seasoned up. We're gonna do a little sample on the grill with the javelina while the beef is cooking, and then we're gonna pick up here in a minute. We're gonna do the old school Pepsi challenge, or in this case, known as the protein challenge, and see if we can identify all different flavors. Rhonda Vu's, who's on this one and the garlic powder with parsley on this one. Yes, and from Monsi so <laughs> Nice. All right, and then this one we did with like a Montreal Chicago seasoning, which Cannon graciously mm. patted dry. <laughs> Perfect. So we gotta wait till they get room temperature because if you cook it while they're cold, the contrast of heat will make them firm. We poke little holes in them, we get a good seasoning. You gotta be honest. If like you don't I like it, don't ever be like, oh, it's good because I killed it. You gotta be like, no, I don't think I like the flavor of that. I prefer beef tenderloin. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Trust me. It's gonna be good. Nice. Take you one home with you. Maddie orders them. Uh, we put them on. Okay. Um, Ready? We're all gonna try it here. Ready? This is Havelina that we shot today. Yes. Rendezvous seasoning. Okay, ready? Go. Honest. I think it's delicious. I get a lot of seasoning. I don't taste a lot of meat. It's um, firm but not chewy. I think because it's cut. It's mild. I like it. I give it either a six a or a seven. I think it's a little hard. Okay. But I like it. Okay. And I like that the amount of seasoning. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is the garlic one. You want a little bigger piece this time? Yeah. Nah, we want to spoil our dinner. Okay, ready? The garlic, salt, and parsley. Wild javelina. It definitely tastes the garlic. Mm -hmm. It tastes the garlic. 
It makes the meat taste different. Mm -hmm. It definitely has more meat flavor with the garlic. Like I don't it? like it good? that much. I give it about a six. I don't like it that much, but it's still I mean, like, it's good enough to want the second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People think you cannot eat. I just, I just wish there was and like. It's because of that gland. As long as you don't hit it, you're fine. Don't hit it in your knife. Like if it does, you gotta change blades or whatever. Or I, I just think piece. there should be a little more garlic seasoning on mm. when you. More. Cause like yeah, cause I can barely taste it. You wanna try it, Jenny? You wanna try a camera guy? Sure. Which one do you want? Uh, barbecue. Please. Yeah, which one? Get. Are you filming? I'll take the camera and just show you. Tastes pretty good. Nice. Okay, that's a wrap. That's now we should wait for the audit. Yeah, I know, right? I think the audit's that's gonna be bomb. Oh, you see the texture? Mm -hmm. It's got Ew. a bunch of moisture in it. It's good. It smells. It smells really good. Cheers to meat. Moment. Meat cheers. Ready? Go. Mm. Mm. It's better than halfway. It's not bad. It's Much good. Better. That was really good. You want to try a camera, Mac? Sure. You killed it. Thank you. Let's see. Honest reviews. It is so. Good. About a seven. I'm Ten. Say, I'm, I'm saying. Oh, here you go, John. Ten or nine. How about you, Mom? It's probably at least a seven. I've got a nine yeah. on it. It's a lot better than I expected. I'm giving me a nine. Honey, come on, you gotta give us a real result. All right, here's the, here's the real judge, right? You gotta rate it. She don't pull no junk. I'm gonna tell you the critter. Rate it one through ten. She lives on a wild game, so she knows. A little chewy. It's high maintenance. But the flavor's good. I like it. It's good. It's not too chewy. I think it was too chewy as it was a little chewy. Would you eat odd add you again? Yes. But you cooked it perfect, Steve. I cut it thinner. Ryan, one out of ten for the odd add, nine. One out of mm. ten for the pig, a six. Right here. Well done. That's one fruit. Okay, all right, here we go. Pepsi challenge. All right, I'm gonna put it in your. I'm gonna put it in your fingers. Protein challenge. Protein challenge. All right. No, no. Here, you squeeze it like you're gonna pinch it. Hold on. And you guys have to answer one, two, three, so you don't go off what your brother says. Eat it, and then don't say anything yet. Okay, on count of three. Taste like the. On the count of three, you're gonna tell me what it is. Okay. One, two, three. Havelina. Havelina. Javelina, beef. Javelina. Okay. okay. This is going in your pinchers. In your pinchers. I don't know that I've ever had this much fun. And remember, okay. 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 or beef. Right down the pipe. Eat it. Okay, don't say anything because we got to do it on three. Get all in play. One, two, three. Javelina. Javelina. It's all dad. All dad. Okay, ready? Last one. Close them up. Pinchers, please. Pinchers. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Oh. You find it here. I got you. Pick a new pincher. Guys, don't lose your meat. Okay. Down pipe. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. Beef. Okay. Beef. Mm -hmm. The first one was all that. What did I pick? I Nobody got it right. Nobody got it right. Nobody got it right. I picked down. The second one was beef. Nobody got it right. And the third one was the uh, Avalina. And I Jet, said it. Jet I win. Jet, only one of you got it right. <laughs> Jet got one. That's crazy, huh? Mm -hmm. That's what? hard. Oh, wait. gross. Oh. Sweet. Now three, two, one. Eat. Go. Get ready to eat it. Yeah, eat it. Okay. So tell me. In three, two, one. Oh, that, that. Cut. What did you say? Beef. Beef for you? It, it kind of tastes like beef. Okay. Oh, it's a good thing. I thought that, it was not. Uh, COVID's not still a thing. <laughs> yeah, because my mouth's on the table. Well, that. You know how many fingers we've been through? Oh, mine landed right in the crown. <laughs> 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 All right, eat it. All right, three, two, one. Catalina. Beef. Catalina. Oh, you dropped it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I hope that's not mine. I'm not doing <laughs> <on> the floor. <laughs> I'm not doing the brown. It's on the counter. You can't reach it. <laughs> All right, three, two, one. Catalina. Beef. 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 Catalina. Beef.
some bitch get Daphne. Daphne. Get Daphne. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, ready? Three, two, one. Eat! Spoiler alert, it's not bacon. <laughs> mm. I messed up on the last Three, one. Three, two, one. That beef. Yeah, okay. that's beef. Beef. That's beef. I messed up on the last one, for sure. For sure. I guess I can open my eyes, right? Yeah, you're good. What a blast. As we toured around Texas, visiting with friends, I thought how often we comment on one's character based on the state or the zip code. I've done it myself. When you strip all that away, it's amazing how similar we all are. There is no bond like the one created on the mountain to knock down all those stereotypes. If you would please remove your hat, I'd like to close in prayer. Lord, thank you for Texas. Thank you for amazing friends, beautiful properties, and the time to untangle all of life's knots. Thank you for my amazing wife who was willing to just jump in the truck and go anywhere with me after 25 years of marriage. And it's in your name we pray. Amen.